Hi, little shares. How are we doing today? Um, and I'm sorry if it's a little too. I'm trying to see if, it, if it's okay, but I'm letting you know that it might be a little dark. Is it a little dark? Does it need a little bit of extra light? No, you're lit up pretty good. Am I? Mm -hmm. Okay. We're getting ready to have a big storm. That's what they say. So. Plus, that storms all weekend. Yeah. So. And our neighbor, Carol, gave us all of her plans. So this rain couldn't arrive at a worse time. So we've been out yard working. I, I want to thank you, Carol, for the plants. I'll take very good care of them. Um, we've been doing yard work for the last two days. Um, I did do a Facebook reel showing you that we tilled the garden already. Got mm -hmm. it opened up, both, both patches. Um, then yesterday I did a reel on us barbecuing. Uh, it's all on Facebook. If you want to go watch it, you can. It's up to you, you know, but I would love to see you guys join Facebook too, because that helps me out a lot too. Um, gives me more. I might shut down Instagram because I just don't got time to really work on it right now. Not with YouTube, Facebook, the kids. <laughs> His, James' is sports, it's oh. just. I've been the one doing the Facebook, and she's been doing the YouTube. And I've been the one doing the videos for YouTube, but she's the one that does all the editing. And she does the. And I put, I, put, I put videos on Facebook. He puts reels on Facebook. She helps me with the reels if I'm doing it wrong, because sometimes I can't figure it out. Like I say, I don't know very much about computers, but I'm doing it, and it's actually doing pretty good. Mm -hmm. But today, we're going to make a slow cook brown sugar, honey, pineapple country ribs. Um, I told Mama I'll try it out and see how it turned out. So what I did is you need a can of uh, pineapple rings. Or you can use fresh pineapple, just clean it and chip it, and then you need pineapple juice too, so you're going to have to get pineapple juice if you use fresh pineapple. But I got pineapple rings and country ribs. They're all right here in the slow cooker. Really, the only pineapple you can't use is crushed. Yeah. You can use the chunks if you want to. You can use the chunks as long as you get some juice. Because you got to have the juice, because the juice is what the marinade is. So, next thing is that you want your pineapple juice. That's probably about a cup and a half. I think that's how much they put in there. It's about it's about there. Um, you want a cup of brown sugar. Just like that. Um, next thing, I'm going to do the dry drains first. Because i got to use this spoon for everything. Um... About a half a tablespoon of black pepper, and then um, you want a tablespoon of ginger. You can use grated ginger if you want to, or just get the powder. Powder is the same thing; it's just dried out, and it won't fall off my spoon. Ginger. Tablespoon of garlic powder. Two table tablespoons of chicken base. And this is minced onion. It's what it said. I'm going to do what it says. One. Two tablespoons of minced onion. Now it's the liquid stuff. So, 
needed. One tablespoon of garlic. Chop. You can buy it at the store. It's called minced garlic. I buy it at Sam's. Um, liquid smoke to give the smoky taste is what they said. So you want two tablespoons of that. One. Two. Yes, I'm shaky because. I've been, uh, <laughs> been Jay Gear since I used the uh, tiller. And this is soy sauce. So remember, you already got salt in here. So you want to only use one tablespoon of soy sauce. Um, because it can be salty unless you get the non salty. If you get the non salty, you know, low sodium or whatever. Um,. Get the low sodium soy sauce. You can use um, like two tablespoons of it. But if you got the so uh, regular, like I do, um, I use that. And you want the honey is going to be the fun one. You want three tablespoons of honey. If you can get it off your spoon. <laughs> But I'm trying to measure it out so you guys can see that I'm measuring that out. But you're going to use a spoon anyways to mix up the stuff so it'll come off the spoon eventually. Yeah. So when we start going on a nature walk, I think next week, um... We will be uh, filming it because people are asking us to do it, so we're going to do it. We enjoy doing nature walks in the summertime. Um, that's something that me and Mama loves to do together. Mm -hmm. um, we love when the kids are with us, too, but it's just when they're in school, it gives us free time to do stuff together. And... We just love doing stuff together when we have free time. Because with you having kids and time, you know, you don't get no free time. <laughs> You're always on the go for sports or other stuff. And I love my kids. I, they're my world, you know. Even though sometimes they can be a pain in your booty, but you still mm. love them. I love my kids to death. Ever since little man came into my life full time after his he found found his mother dead, I can't go to the bathroom by myself. We have two bathrooms. He instantly goes in the main bathroom. Mom, you all right? Mom, mom, answer me. Yes, I'm fine. Can I just take a crap in peace? <laughs> no. And if I go outside, he has to go outside. I'm not going to croak, kid. Good Lord. So, here's the sauce. And you want to dump this over these ribs. Marinate the ribs with it. And you can marinate these overnight if you want to in the crock mm. pot. And in the morning, you wake up. You can put these on. You're going to put them on the, in the mm. crock pot. Ooh. Before you, if you want to do it before you go to work, um, you can. Just put them on low. Put them on low and, and low and slow. Cook, wins the race. What I'm doing is I did this morning because I wanted to show you guys. Plus, my ribs were frozen still. Still? <laughs> yeah, they're still frozen a little bit. Dang you, freezer. <laughs> they're still frozen a little bit. It's an old freezer. It's an old Sears cold spot yeah it's old so that's what i do and if i can get mama to show it to you that's what it looks like and it's in there i'm gonna cook it slow and um be ready for dinner tonight 
Um, I told her I was gonna make some rice tonight. I don't know what kind yet. I just said I was gonna make. He some looked rice. up Hawaiian rice and he said, "Nope, I know I don't got all the ingredients." <laughs> <laughs> Hawaiian rice has a lot of greens. All I said was, "There's another type of rice." There's a lot, a lot of greens for Hawaiian rice. Um, but that'd be my next chapter. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do make Hawaiian rice. Um, because people like different culture food on my channel. Mm -hmm. So I'm trying to show you guys different culture food. Trying is the word. Um, there is some culture food that, um, I never done before. So I sit down and read the recipes and understand what they're doing. Mm -hmm. And I had to turn it around. Like I've been telling you guys, I had to turn it around to feed my family. If it's too spicy, I have to deny the spice and equal it out as what they can eat. Um, the only people really can eat really spicy stuff would be me and Mama and Sissy. I know another recipe my mom's you can share with them. The hamburgers, onions, and potatoes in the oven. So, we got that recipe we're going to show you guys. That never had a name. She never gave a name to it. Here, belly stew. No, it ain't a stew. It's got onions and potatoes in it. You make your hamburger patties and you slice onions and you take them apart and put them on the potatoes and slice your, on the, sorry, not the potatoes, on the hamburgers. And then you slice your potatoes and put that on top and then fold the tin foil over. But she never really had a name for it. I'll have to come up with a name for it. So, this is done. It's going to go in the crock pot. It's going to cook all day slow. It'll be nice and tender when we pull it out. And it'll be delicious. Um, any new subscribers? Not that I know of. That's a oh, big and thing. I have a new subscriber on my uh, on the Facebook, but um, I apologize. Um, I can't remember your name. But Oh, I got two new subscribers on Facebook. Um, I can't remember the name, but I could say something to you guys when I do the second part of the video. When this gets done. Um, and the, another thing, I'm a very respectable person. That's why I apologize to you guys a lot. Because I was raised that way. Um... I know you guys are probably tired of hearing me telling you sorry about something. It's just, I was raised to use our manners as a respectable person. Um, my mom and dad, well, my mom really um, raised us as yes, sir, yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. You know, if you don't do respect, and, my mom did too. You don't have no respect for people. Um, why should you uh, do stuff for other people? And that's the reason why we are well given to uh, the community here in Coal Valley. And we give out food to people. Um, mm -hmm. um, we try to do what we can. And we're blessed when people give us stuff. Um, I blessed the... Uh, a lot from Carol. She gave us some plants. A lot of plants. We, the first one we, well, the only one that we planted so far is a magnolia uh, bush. Yeah. And um, we got rose bushes coming over here. We got a plant. Uh, she gave me her um, flagpole. Flagpole. I got it beside my porch. Now no longer I have my flags on the porch. It'll be hanging up on a pole. Thank you, God. Mm -hmm. Um, and it'd be a different once we get the yard looking different. Then we're gonna show you more of the yard. Once I get everything planted, plant wise, you know, flowers, I'll show you. And I got two new baby rabbits out in my yard, and they do not want to leave our yard. Tiny they, and Fruit Loop. <clears throat> one's name's Tiny. One's named Fruit Loop, and they um, they live in the flower bed where the strawberries are at. Yep. Um. They're just a young little thing. Um, Tiny's a uh, runt. Mm -hmm. And we we enjoy it. Um, go to our Facebook channel and watch some of the reels. It helps the content on Facebook. 
Um, I don't know what else to say. And the videos I put on YouTube, I also post over on Facebook. Yeah. So. So we appreciate you all, and we'll be back in shortly, minutes and two, and once this is getting done. So it'll take about hmm, approximately right now it's I have to eight go. twenty two. Uh, I'll be pulling these out about eight uh three thirty for dinner. Usually about three thirty when the kids get out of school. So I'll see you all in a few. Take care, peace. Okay everybody, we're back. And just wanted to show you guys the Hawaiian stuff. Hawaiian style country ribs. Look good, do they? Oops. Moved on me. I don't know what you want. Yeah, no. mm -hmm. Keep going. Yeah, stop. Alright, a little hit back on the prayer real quick, y'all. Dear Lord, thanks for this food that night. Please help kind of boy. All my family foods better. Please help these storms not be bad. So me and my family, see, please help our channel. Amen. Thank you, little hillbilly. Welcome. So, just doing this uh, dish for you all, just to show you guys that you can do anything with country ribs or any kind of rib. Come on over here, mama. So, I've been doing uh, short reels on uh, Facebook. If you guys go check them out. I'm showing you guys before the videos get put out. I'm showing you what I'm doing to, for the video, the next day video. Like, I just started that today. But there is other short reel videos on there. You guys can see that I did. About our garden and meat cooking yesterday. I did a short video on that. So go check it out and see if you like it or not. So something new for you guys. Just trying to do something different. So like and subscribe. Share us. Um, and if you ain't subscribed, like, uh, subscribe please. It helps our channel. Like button helps us our channel. So Please, every time you watch the video, please hit the like button because it helps us get out more. Been reading about it. So, appreciate you all. God bless you all. And stay out of the storms. Take care. Peace.